Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and let me no just get my bearings. Uh, last time we did the planet scanning, yes, and the Normandy crash site. And I think we discovered a side mission, yes. Let's go do that now. The loading screens you know at least the mass effect one loading screens were well they were fake but they were much more enjoyable at least as far as I'm concerned uh, yeah let's go with this Garrus, 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 Garrus. You know, actually, I think I'm going, gonna go with the Mantis. For now, at least. Kind of annoying that I have to switch uh, all my weapons. Should apply the thing to all of my weapons automatically anyway, but you know, whatever. Small gripe, nothing serious. Let's see. Giving this sniper rifle. Switch up. And go with the pistol. Change weapons. Done. The good thing uh, in Mass Effect about all the side missions is that their locations are fairly unique unlike uh, Mass Effect 1 where every single side mission was... Well, they were reused as... <laughs> Right. Well, the Mantis does a lot of damage, but uh, you have to not miss really much.
Thank you. about that missing <laughs> fucking fuck I've got no firing a high impact shot one left <clears throat> never saw me coming enemy down Let's use this baby at least once. Lost my target. Incinerate the <laughs> Because of shot, ready. No line of sight. Come back to the gate. Mind over matter. Fire. Oh. <laughs> Also has a low ammo ammunition count, which means you can run out of uh, ammo pretty quickly if you're not careful. Some extra materials. I see a dead this man. computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Recover for myself. Yes, be a renegade. Data received. <laughs> Loading screen, filling the awkward silence with something. <laughs> yes, sorry about that. I'll stop now. Commander, you've received a new uh, message at your private Of course, terminal. I did. I always do. From Edie. <clears throat> Hello from the Reds. Pretty sure. Fuck off. Take care of Garrus. Whoever the fuck you are. Uh huh. Anyway. Right! Now that, now that that's done, I think. Uh, I feel like visiting the Citadel. You know, because why not? We have used half our fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's do that. Visiting the Citadel, yeah. 
Look at it, so pretty in the sky. It's a good thing you can skip all, skip all these intros because otherwise not not saying that they're not pretty to look at but you know what I mean Thank God you can skip them and now a pretty little loading screen oh. Well Let's see, who do we take? Garrus, obviously, because he's Garrus, and Moran doesn't really matter if you're not on a mission. Doesn't really matter who you take. Shepherd, enter the password and receive a free gift. Say what now? Move out of the way, Garrus. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepherd. Uh, silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepherd. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Are you sure about that? What makes you so sure? Invasion There's of the Body Snatchers? Aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you look like, I knew it was you. <laughs> what brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What deal is that? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Uh. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly oh, to people sneaking I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. <clears throat> And I think I'm gonna do the the DLC after this one, Kasumi uh, Kasumi's mission, the heist, because it gives something really good. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? 
Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, I love that speech. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. <laughs> I am dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. Uh-huh. <coughs> You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Oh, God. This is the the guy from Battlestar Galactica. God damn it. I, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Shit. But you know who I'm talking about. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Yeah. <laughs> Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here and we call it done? <laughs> Couldn't one of us, <clears throat> both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Oh, that'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Oh, not you again. Avina. Fuck off. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. <laughs> you know, for a bunch of cheap, touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone. This store discriminates against the poor. Uh, please, calm down. As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. <laughs> Please, enjoy your shopping experience. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I'm such a fucking asshole. Ah, oh, the Destiny Ascension. <clears throat> That's the council ship I, let, uh, I left behind to be destroyed. Whoopsie! Alright. 
Space hamster, of course. Now, here's the thing with the fish. <laughs> you have to feed them. Let's see if I can remember to feed the fish. Pretty sure they're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. <clears throat> you ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. <laughs> and you wonder why they think Krogans are dangerous. We should kill them all. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. Nice food and novels. Wow. So much sense is being made right now. So much sense. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole day. Whatever the this clan fuck that is means. a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Walking by what now? Delta fan. Hello. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. <laughs> you bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel. Oh, you're Shepard. I, I didn't even think... I well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. Nice. Uh, well, not free stuff, but... Uh, this looks interesting. Thank you. Medigil capacité. Capacity. Hiroshima. I felt her hand go. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Right. Be careful Let's go. out there. What the hell did you say? Let's go to. Let's go. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. And the problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth. You've got it. 
Well, thank you. Tech damage, damage protection, actually. We can uh, use this. That's it for now. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Well, it's nice to see one appreciated. Yay! Discount, discount. You know what? Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Probably because... Why did I get five par... Come on. Anyway. Oh, because... Darkstar Land, that, that, that's the place. Probably because Quarians are consider, considered the gypsies of the galaxy. Yup, yup, yup. Quite a conundrum. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. <laughs> 11 billion. Oh, check this out. Ammo. Um, oh, shit. Sniper rifle that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Human. Give me a discount. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're gonna help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. Pleasure doing business with you. Go to hell. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. This is valuable. Yep. And I am out of uh, the money, huh? Eh? The money. I am out of the money. Dark Star Lounge. Anything interesting in here? I don't think so. Looking for a little R and R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's Den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. Right. Then I can do for you. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if they're fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs, the Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. You know, this ugly bastard reminds me of that uh, uh, alien hybrid from Alien Resurrection, the white alien thingy. God, that guy gave me the creeps. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. I'll do that. Thank you. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Good night. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerlin News. 
I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre? You walked out in the middle of the interview, made a lot of humans question what the Council might be hiding. Do you have a minute? <laughs> Sorry, don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing nearly I've had enough of your disingenuous <laughs> assertions. <laughs> I wish I'd done that the first time we met. <laughs> you bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. <laughs> Check bid. Did we get it? Nice. <laughs> uh, I really don't know how she got up from this. Anyway. Presidia. That's the foundation. Gotta go tell the Krogans there's no fish. No fish. I think I'm in the wrong place. Yep, of course I'm in the wrong place. Fucking fuck. Uh, the other place then. Is it coffee? Yep. There are the Krogans. What do you want? I ever heard you talking about the fish on the Presidium. What, you mean there actually are some? Sure, I just got one. I have it with me now. I'll pay you for it. What, you don't think I'm hungry? I went all the way up to the Presidium for this. <laughs> Why should I give it to a random Krogan? I'll pay you a lot for it. All right. It's obvious you really want it. Here you go. Aren't you saving that money for a new gun? Who cares? They wouldn't let me use it here anyway. Thank you, human. Many Krogan must have dreamed of this day, but I get to be the first. It's just a damn fish. Guns <laughs> are better than fish. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh... Uh, that was actually pretty cool. Shepard, welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. What did you want to see me about? I'll be honest. I was hoping to convince the other counselors to be here for this meeting. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. The ambassador knows how to play politics. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is, I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? I'm handling my business. What are you doing out there? What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. 
It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Come again? Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI on Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it. Just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line. And I don't have much to show for it. The original council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. <clears throat> I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. Uh, sure, why not? I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? What the hell is wrong with your eyes? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see. And your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Yeah. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. <clears throat> Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. <laughs> Fucking ignorant assholes. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Ah, Cerberus. It's like... It's like being, in an, being a Nazi, almost. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Uh-huh. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. Oh, uh, okay. 
I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. <laughs> let's not, uh, let's pretend Miranda didn't hear that. Right, so yeah. When I come back, uh, we'll get going with uh, Kasumi's mission, yeah? Yeah.